Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk to you a bit more about some right angle triangles. Up until now, when we spoke about right angle triangles, we discussed Pythagoras' theorem, which helped us to find missing lengths in a right angle triangle. Now we're going to move on to the next part of trigonometry, which is all about the relationship between the sides of the triangle to the angles in the right angle triangle. Before we move any further though, we need to learn how to label the different sides of our right angle triangles. In Pythagoras' theorem, we did label one side, and that was the hypotenuse. So if you can remember, hopefully you can, that in a right angle triangle, the longest side, which is also the side opposite to your right angle, is what we call the hypotenuse. And now we need to learn the other two sides of the triangle, which we haven't necessarily labelled before. So when we're dealing with trigonometry from now on, if we are not just talking about the sides, we're also talking about the angles. Generally, we're going to either be given one of the other angles that's not the right angle, or it might be just labelled with a letter. So let's say that this side of my triangle, or this angle I should say, is labelled A. We now need to come up with a way of being able to label the two other sides of this triangle. So we know that the longest side is always going to be called the hypotenuse because that's opposite the right angle. But we also need to learn that the side opposite the angle that we're trying to find is actually easily enough called the opposite. So we've got our opposite. And then we're left with one other side. And the side that is left over, we call the adjacent. So now we have the three sides of our triangle, a right angle triangle, I should say. We have the longest side, which is opposite the right angle, which we call the hypotenuse, or you could shorten that down to just H. The side that's opposite the angle that we're given or we're trying to find is called the opposite, or O. And the side that's left over is called the adjacent, or we can label that with an A. Okay, so if you feel confident in this is just a quick revision video, you should probably pause it now and then have a look and make sure that you're able to label all the right angle triangles correctly. If you're still trying to get to grips with it, you can just watch this as more of an example. So in our first triangle up here on the top left, we want to label it. So let's remember our three steps. Number one is we start with the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. So we know that this must be the hypotenuse, so I'm just going to label that with a H. Then we go to the angle that is given or labelled in my triangle, which is the A here, and we go across, and we always call that the opposite. And then we go to the one that's left over, and we always label that the adjacent. Let's go to the one on the top right hand corner. So again, start with the hypotenuse, so we draw Opposite to my right angle, we call that H. Opposite to the angle that we're given, in this case, it's 30 degrees. So this side is called the opposite. And the side that's left over, we call it the adjacent. And one last one, opposite my right angle, hypotenuse. Opposite my given angle, opposite and left over, adjacent. Adjacent. 